What is up, everybody? Time for the Daily Wrap. I'm Dark Side Phil, and today has been Wednesday, the 23rd of February, 2022. An exciting day, first of all, on the pre-stream podcast. Pretty exciting today, because all the Elden Ring news finally hit the internet, including all the early reviews came out, all the information about what's the best versions of the game, etc., etc., and there was a lot of talk and hoopla around that, so a good segment of the pre-stream podcast was about that, in addition to me reminiscing about my experiences with Bloodborne, which was also a really nice time, because the two different runs that I did were dramatically different experiences. Then, it was Horizon Forbidden West on the first stream. Now, I'm going to talk very honestly here about the game. I like it now. I'm actually, it's growing on me even more. Every time that I play it, I like it more. The plot is getting way more interesting. Today we did three hours of gameplay. I'd argue two and a half hours was main plot. And then there was like a half an hour side mission with a character who had returned from the original game. And we fought a giant turtle creature together, which was really freaking neat. Okay. So I'm having a great time with the game. I actually feel that over time, it's getting better the more that I play it. The plot's picking up. I'm getting, at the end of today's stream, I bought an ice bow. I bought a, I have a trap now that uses water element and I got something else new too. So basically I'm getting every element possible, which is good. You need all the elements to be able to take on all the different robotic creatures because each one has like a different weakness. So this is great. And I got new armor that looks badass too. Okay. So I'm having a great time with it. The people who are actually hanging out with me as I play are liking, but it's not a lot of people. I'm just being honest. This is exactly to a T identical to what happened when I played Horizon Zero Dawn five years ago. (laughs) For some reason, my particular viewing audience doesn't really like the game. I don't know why. We go every day. I mean, at the pre-stream podcast, we had 400 people watching. The game starts. We go from 400 to 200. 200 on a main stream. That's not good. And by the way, same thing is happening with support for these streams. It's dramatically slow. I'm getting like one big tip, a few small tips, and then, as you know, usually one minute man who helps behind the scenes every day on a daytime stream tips. And that's it. And that's not good. The fact that we got a mainstream new release game and I'm not even hitting like the tier two tip skull. You know, the thing is, I like the game and I'm not going to quit playing it. All right. It's an outstanding game. The graphics are superb, but the gameplay, I feel, is actually just as good, if not improved, from the last game. And the plot is getting really interesting now that I'm about, uh, what, nine, uh, no, eight, nine, ten, probably eleven hours in, something like that, roughly. And I I actually can't wait to play it again tomorrow to see what's going to happen with the plot as we continue on. But it's just a shame for some reason people are so turned off to this game and I'm getting so few viewers for it. I just don't know. But I don't care. I like the game, so I'm going to keep playing it, Okay. Um, So rest assured, if you like the game, if you're watching it on demand, or you are one of the people watching it on stream, don't worry, I'm not quitting on a game, okay? Then the late stream tonight was Skyrim, and it was great. We had about 250 people there, chilling all night. Every time we play Skyrim, we have a good chill time, did all kinds of stuff around Solitude. It is unfortunate that when Skyrim was a main gameplay stream, it got tons of support, and on night streams, it doesn't get much at all. Um, In fact, there was one large tip that came in, and if it weren't for that tip, we probably wouldn't have even made 20 bucks tonight. Seriously. Like, it was that that slow. Um, but again, the game's good. People are telling me they're engaged. They like the content. I can't improve it. It's good. So, all I can do is shrug and say, well, it is what it is. Hope for the best moving forward because I like Skyrim. Okay? Now, tomorrow, uh, Thursday, the last day before I start playing Elden Ring. That is true. I'm not playing Elden Ring tomorrow. Why? Because I'm getting the PlayStation 5 version. That's the best console version with the most frame rate of any console version. And that doesn't become available until like 9 p.m. tomorrow, which is the end of my streaming day. So I'm going to start playing it Friday morning and playing it all day Friday, all day Saturday. Okay? So tomorrow, first gameplay stream, more Horizon Forbidden West. And I'm excited because, like I said, I'm right at the part of a new plot. And I'm excited to see how the plot goes. So I hope you'll join me for that tomorrow, if at all you can. Okay? And then... It's going to be the late stream, your choice. Right now, there is a poll live right here on DSP Gaming on the main uh, channel page under the community tab where you can vote. Do you want to see more Pokemon Legends Arceus or more Skyrim? I honestly don't care. I like both games. So whatever wins, I'm happy with. So please vote, and whatever wins will be the late stream tomorrow. Okay? And then, of course, there will be a pre-stream podcast tomorrow that's actually going to be all about Dark Souls 3. That's right. My two different runs in Dark Souls 3. Um, excited for that, and I hope that you guys will join me for that tomorrow. 
Guys, good streaming day today. If anything, I just wish that more people would give games a chance. Like, I don't know why some people have completely written off Horizon when it's actually one of the best games I've played in a while. And uh, I'm really liking it the more I play it. I wish more people would give it a shot. But I guess some people are just so action. If it's not insane amounts of challenge and constant action and Phil swearing and raging, it's not good. That's ridiculous to me, right? And especially because we have chill streams that people like and support. I don't know why people can't treat this playthrough like that too. If you haven't given the Horizon playthrough a look, please give it a look. And I will say this. This is right now the most important time for DSP Gaming. For you to watch videos, and if you're watching them here on demand, like this one, please like it, and please leave a comment. Now, engagement is super important. Why? Because Elden Ring is about to hit. This is the game. Everyone will be looking on the internet for coverage. People will be coming back in droves to DSP Gaming to watch me play a Soulsborne game. If you like the videos and you leave comments, this will leave engagement. This will make these videos show up more prominently for people in search and related. This will help this channel grow tremendously. I would love nothing to see all of a sudden a burst in attention over the weekend for DSP Gaming, including views, comments, likes, subs, everything would be tremendous. This, this would be the weekend for it. So please, if you have buy-in and you like this channel and you like the content and you like me, please like the videos and leave comments. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Peace out.